really overwhelmed. I didn't think it was possible. I was really apprehensive initially. I came in as a non-trad student. It had been like 13 years since I've really done math. Well, when I first went in, I didn't, I had a I don't care attitude because I never liked math. It's always been a subject that I never understood. I didn't feel that I could do it. I really was kind of scared because I didn't know, you know, what I was getting into. I didn't have any algebra in school at all. So I was just at a loss. I'd get a lot of anxiety, like just sitting in class and then when I took the test, I would have too much anxiety. I would fail the test completely. And so I was afraid. I was really afraid when I first started. If I didn't understand it, I didn't bother asking questions or anything. I just would get irritated and just give up. You just have to not be afraid to admit if you're struggling with something. And basically somebody will show you what, what you need to know. And I think that we need to take fear out of the equation because really fear is created by us and we don't need it. If I worked harder and I spent more time in the lab, or more time with my professor, the anxiety started to go away. I had to tell myself that I could understand, you know, how to do this if I actually sat down and didn't be so negative. Towards the end, after I got control of my anxiety and I had spent so much time studying, I felt a little bit better, like it was possible. You can't have a negative attitude. That's just the bottom line. You got to go in there every day for the leaving that I can do this. And just be confident in your ability and what you can do. Well, I used uh, my math lab in my class, um, which, uh, which uh, uses sample tests. It's like an online exercise, so like the things that you don't know, you can actually email different people that's actually on the Pearson's the Pearson's math lab and they actually you know help you with the things that you're struggling with and uh, I tried to uh, take the most amount of sample tests that they allowed me to um, for each chapter that I had difficulty with studying a little bit harder make sure that my professor knew where my struggles were and where I felt they were and would just review it more so this way when the test came I'd have a better understanding of it if I didn't have as much difficulty, I, I tried to still remain the same, but you know, I just practice a little bit harder. It was a little embarrassing as a non-traditional student, maybe, to ask for help from somebody who was younger. But I realized that it would, I would have done a disservice to myself um, if had I not done that. And so I went back to uh, 1500. I learned the terms, and it was like night and day. There are a lot of things that you can do to succeed in Math 1501. My first thing I would say um, is to practice. I practice every day. Um, math might not seem easy to a lot of students, so I'd say just practice every day um, and to just try to succeed. I had to change my attitude. To not give up and use all the resources that are available on campus. I took the um, practice test over and over again and I wrote those problems down. And if I had problems with them, I went back and did them in the review over and over again. And if you let your professor know where your struggles are and that you actually do care, that they will help and will make an incredible difference in your career. As I went on, it kind of made it easier. You know, that, that came into the fact of asking questions and not being afraid to admit that I couldn't operate a computer. So. I had a teacher that was very understandable and she understood that because of my age, um, I didn't really know a lot about the computer. So she worked with me and um, helped me. In the math lab, it's like when you get a question right and then, you know, the, the, they got this green box to come up and say excellent and great and stuff like that and they kind of encourage you to, to keep going on. And, 
Like, you might only think you're gonna spend like 15, 20 minutes on the computer and you might end up spending two hours. And by doing that, you then basically almost passed everybody in the class. But I went to the uh, math center and um, that was where I really got a lot of help. And there's computers in there where you can go in and you know, you can go right on the computer and they'll help you um, to go to your whatever assignment you have. Well, it, it was kind of fun, really. I spent a lot of hours studying math. I mean, a, a ridiculous number. I want to say at least 15, if not more. I would recommend probably an hour, hour and a half each day throughout the week. At least an hour each day, at least. Depending if the problems are harder or not, if they're longer to work out, then obviously you need two hours because it is a lot of work in one math problem. At the end of the semester, I had 96 um, hours banked on my course compass. So if you can do 10 hours a week, and I know that sounds a lot, but with five credit class, you should be really putting that much time into it if you really want to pass. There was so much to learn. There's so much to learn when you don't know anything about a subject. So I knew I had to put in the time, and I wanted to put in the time. Really, it's, it's just about not being afraid to admit when you don't know something. I used every resource available. Just take advantage of all the help you have. Um, using the practice exams on the computer in the math lab and my professor and just constantly studying and redoing the problems. The professors is here to help you. Tutors if you need it, don't be afraid to ask questions. Do problems all the time. Like just basically just take good notes, like good notes and attending class. That, that'll really help you. I would take it um, in the spring when holidays aren't an issue. I think that's a really important thing. I would not take it on a full schedule or with any other math courses. If you read the chapter before you go to class, then when she gives you these terms or whatever it is you need to know, you're already familiar with, um, with what she's talking about. When it's really on your brain, that's like really the, almost the best time to actually really study it. And I would just do the work and go every day because if you miss a day, um, you miss a lot because it's very fast paced. Every day, not every other day, dude, all the time. And not giving up. I just put my time in. Pretty much just stay positive and, and if you need help, just ask your professor and um, ask questions, um, be involved in the class. Definitely change their attitude and use me as a prime example because I was the same way and I definitely overcame it and now I'm in my math, my math class for my education and I'm getting a B. Give everything that you have for this class and please don't throw that much money away. <laughs> and you have to leave that class going to find out everything that you don't understand about that class. That's your responsibility. If you just work and practice and ask questions, don't be afraid to ask questions because teachers are always willing to help you. It's possible. Don't give up. Like, once you get through it, you'll feel a whole lot better.